Hello my soccer universe, welcome to the top 10 jerseys of 2020. Boy, this was a hard list to make. I have rolled it down, I've been agonizing over positioning and which 10 will I put in there and to be honest, it's not 10. <laughs> Because I just, uh, and I will uh, justify this a little bit later, I just uh, got to a point where I didn't want to leave anything out because not only do I want to put 10 jerseys in there, but you know, there are also certain trends that we had in the year 2020 jersey-wise that I also want to um, kind of accommodate. I put out here some of my favorite jerseys over the past two years, 18 and 19. Um, national teams here club teams here so uh, they were all at one point in the consideration for their respective top 10 lists I considered a ton of jerseys for this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11 so that's uh, 31 jerseys for this list whittling it down uh, went actually quicker than I thought I put down a few jerseys up here that were in the running but did not make my personal list and again this is my personal list right off the get-go two jerseys that you will not find in here uh, because honestly I don't rate them as highly or three jerseys that I don't rate as highly uh, the first one is the, the Pescara home jersey which is a great uh, story it was a jersey when it came out to make a whole lot of splash it you know fit all of it this COVID times and I really thought about getting it but ultimately I decided against it because let's face it um, a child designed it and it's great for a child but would I want to see my team playing with it not necessarily so that's why this jersey to make although I really like the story the idea and everything behind it I didn't consider it because of that uh, then two jerseys that are always named that I see especially on Twitter uh, as um, among the top three or whatever is the Boca away and the Red Star jersey a, I don't actually like the book. I think the, the design is great, but it shouldn't. The bar should be a little bit thinner. And the Red Star is also not exactly to my liking. And also, those are not teams that are necessarily on my radar. Um, the last one, and this will come as a little bit of a disappointment, uh, is the current Nigeria home jersey. I like this one better, and I will talk about that a little bit more later in the countdown. So I'm giving already a few things away here. My rules roughly for this one were that I wanted to get, you know, all the leaks that I have been reviewing and you note, if you watch it, I haven't given out the 10 stars so far. Um, so I looked at those jerseys, uh, then uh, some national team jerseys, then really some that grabbed me that are outside from there. So this was kind of the idea that I'm going. I didn't want to put in second league teams. I broke the rule because there's one that is really so beautiful that I couldn't do it without. Okay, lots of talking so far. Let's get to the list. As I said, I had a hard time making it 10 and I said, okay, let's make a joint last place uh, with three jerseys that each of them, in my opinion, for me per person, you might differ. Uh, might warrant inclusion here uh, but in my opinion they're also not really above the other jerseys that I'm gonna present to you and the first one is this Italy home jersey that I got recently don't get me wrong I love this jersey but my initial reaction when I saw it oh they're just taking the Renaissance jersey and making it blue well they have a different pattern on there uh, but it's really the same thing the strength of this jersey comes in connection with the other two. If you add the three of them together, they form a unit. If I would um, go for teams and who has the best set, Italy probably would be for sure in the top three, if not on the very top for 2020. It's a beautiful jersey. I love the pattern. I love the color. I mean, the blue of Italy is clearly one of my favorite. It's just a novelty effect of it uh, wore a little bit off for me. 
Then, staying close to home, uh, my number nine jersey, uh, my uh, next number 10 jersey, is the current last home uh, jersey for the league, no, not Europa League. And the reason why I pulled it in there is because for an Austrian league jersey, this is quite restrained. We have all the club's colors in there. We have black, we have white, we have nicely strapped, which uh, we didn't have for a long uh, time. Or, you know, we had it, but not as nicely as it's done here. And then the sponsor is in red, which is the third club color. So it makes uh, this jersey, although there are not little sponsors on there, but for Austria, this is kind of a big rest uh, restraint. Yes, we have the league logo here, we have the last logo here, and then on the sleeves you have uh, the other sponsors, but they chose the only one that breaks kind of though is the BW BWT uh, up on the right, which is still in full color, but then the logos, just the B on the sleeves to adjust in black, makes it look like a manufacturer logo, which kind of... Anyway, we are self-manufacturing, so the... They are now many manufacturing uh, it for us, kinda. Um, and then the tip on the sleeve, sleeve sponsor is also nice. I think for an Austrian jersey, this is remarkably restrained and remarkably well done. Given that we had yellow and pink sleeves over the past seasons, this is a beautiful jersey. And also reminds me a little bit about the copper cut from the early 2000s. And then the last number 10 is the Inter third. Inter does not have a very great collection, but I have to say this Inter third is a beauty. Why did it, didn't it make it crack it like a um, solid top 10? Gray is not my favorite color, but I have to say this is an Inter jersey and I'm wearing Milan. <laughs> I'm a Milan fan. This is an Inter jersey that I'm uh, considering of getting. It is uh, good looking, looks well in game. Um, it is, of course, a reference to uh, the one that they were in 98 and they had a little bit later than the one that was a little bit more blue, the uh, 04 or 05 season. That is more remembered for the Interfans down drowning at San Siro in flares. Uh, so, yeah, it's a great jersey and it's probably the only of the Nike third jerseys that I actually really like. Uh, all the guys here, I think Nike third kits, and this is the first storyline. It's one actually of a big disappointment. We'll see a lot of Nike jerseys in this countdown, but Nike third a jersey range rather, rather tame. Then let's go to number nine, which is the next story. This is the Bayern third kit. Adidas to me is my biggest disappointment uh, for the year. I barely like any of the Adidas jerseys. I hold them to a high standard. I, it used to be that Adidas was my favorite manufacturer in many ways. And then they kind of started dropping off over the past few years with producing kind of outlandish designs. And this year they went all with this painted and special effects or, you know, some sublimated patterns and all that kind of stuff, honestly. None of them really work, except for this Bayern kit. This one, I love the reference to the Bavarian core coat of arms with the lozenges, but there's of course blue and white. Bayern will never pull out a blue and white jersey, so they take the club's colors in red and black, which is a very strong uh, core combination. I really like the look of this jersey. It is super, super strong. Uh, another one that I am considering to add to have like a, an alternate Bayern jersey. This is a real, real beauty. However, it's not the best Adidas jerseys on this list. This is number eight. It's the Ajax away jersey. And believe it or not, this is a template. I didn't believe it at first, but now this template comes uh, out more and more. Scotland has a very similar one, but lighter. This one takes the best of what, I, uh, what um, Adidas can do with the template. It is a clear reference to the 88 uh, Netherlands jersey, but with a twist. You have now the um, diagonal striping here. Um, it kind of hides also the sponsor, which, we, 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 which is never a bad thing, but uh, I also like the color, the, this bluish gray as an alternate for Ajax is a really, really nice thing. And then you have the red crest to kind of make it pop and also a little bit red on the collar. This jersey is beautiful. 
I have to say. When you see it in-game, it's even more striking. The Ajax home jersey is workable. You won't mess with it. I have to say, this one is the standard jersey of this season for Ajax. And I've seen it a few times in-game. It looks awesome. It absolutely looks awesome. Uh, it's definitely on, on my list. And here, Adidas, you have done very, very, very well. Let's go to number seven, to a jersey that is near and dear to my heart. It's coming. It's coming sometime soon. Uh, yeah, in a month or so. It's the Napoli 4th Maradona jersey. Um, this jersey would be a lot higher if it wouldn't have two sponsors on there. Although I have to say the sponsors kind of fit. Yes, even the red letter fit because we have the Cocardo here. And so there is a little bit of a red element. But the moment I saw this jersey, I mean, it came out right after Maradona died, which was not the intention of it, but it uh, creeps me out a little bit. But as um, a tribute to the great men of the club, giving and uh, putting out an Argentina jersey, but uh, distinctively Neapolitan, Neapolitan, you know, uh, making a thicker stripes, you still have the light blue in there, which is so Napoli, then you... Um, I absolutely love it. And I think uh, also the copper color collar is nice. The taping here on the shoulders is nice. It's very, very classy. The only thing that really pulls it down a little bit are that there are a few too many sponsors. If, let's say, there was only the letter, I think I would rank this in my top five. But uh, with the double sponsor and the one on the back, um, not so much, but what I really love also is that the numbers that would come with it are also in light, light blue, so it gives a really nice overall look. I love this tribute jersey. It's a great tribute to the most important player in Napolitan history. Uh, so, and this was one when I saw it, I needed to have it. And as I said, I ordered it. Has not shipped yet. Will probably come somewhere in February. Then we'll go up to number uh, six and we have the Finland home jersey. A lot of Nike jerseys coming now. I have to say, with one, except, with one or two exceptions uh, of the Euro kits, this is among my favorites. It's always a great look when a national team plays in something that's resembling the country's flag. Finnish flag, blue on white. Maybe a slight drawback is that we have it in navy here that fades into this uh, lighter blue that it should be. But honestly, the navy makes the swoosh pop a little bit more and also the crest pop a little more. This off-center cross is a very unusual look. I love that it goes to, to the arms, which is not a given these days. Uh, these days, the soccer jerseys, mostly we have a panel on the front that makes all the pattern and everything else is plain. It doesn't do it here. I would love for this to continue onto, onto the back, which I'm pretty sure it does not. This jersey is striking and beautiful and I'm looking forward to Finland playing in this one at the Euros. A jersey I will not see at the Euros is number five. Um, it is kind of together with the Finland jersey. Uh, one of those jerseys where Nike just said, we're gonna drop templates for now and everyone can make the custom uh, jersey. And this was one of the first Nike jerseys to drop. Is this, and if you haven't uh, realized that, it's the Korea away jersey. I don't like the home, home, home jersey. It gets a little bit too pinkish. But uh, for this custom look, having that Korea uh, always has this Tiger logo in there, getting Tiger stripes on there in black and white. I mean, I was wondering, should it be more uh, like a Bengal Tiger? But I think the black and white makes it even look wilder. This is a off the kilter, but great looking jersey. Uh, I really have to, have to say, uh, this was the one that really stru struck me. The Nigeria jersey, was a little bit too messy because I think they got a little bit too lost in the details towards the bottom of it. I thought this one um, looks stronger because there is at least some uh, symmetry to it. Uh, the Nigeria one got a little bit lost here. This is just overall tiger print. I mean, you cannot go wrong with it. My only gripe is I really find the logo uh, with the tiger and the Asian eyes, that is, let's put it at least weird to me. But other than that, 
that's one of the lookers of the year and I'm happy that it's sold also with the tiger straps on the back. Number four and here's the second, here's another Nike team and this is the one from the second league, the Venezia home jersey. This one proves that, uh, okay, Venice is a city that is on the world stage, so of course the club if in, um, should get a little bit more attention. I mean, this is one of the best known cities in the world. But what Nike did here, a custom jersey that is of such uh, beauty but restraint, and then the club helping it big time with putting the city name onto the jersey in black. I absolutely love this look. I mean, it's not a common look to have orange, black and green. But, and then this promo pic with the, in Venice itself, I mean, uh, just puts it over the top. This is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous church jersey. And that a team from a second league can have such a custom look. And this is usually a Macron thing. And we don't have any Macron jerseys in here. I'm sorry, 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 sorry to say uh, that Nike does this for Venezia more power to them. I have to say this is one of the best looking jerseys out there. I mean, it's top four. Um, and I've seen this regularly in many other people's lists as well as an absolute stunner. I love this jersey. Um, and yeah, I would like to have that one, although Venezia is not anywhere near uh, coming to, see, to, to Serie A, but you know, I've been a few times to Venice. I really want to have a jersey from kind of every bigger city that I've been to, so that would fit perfectly in there. They had some nice jerseys, but I think this one is the one that's the best over the last few years. We're coming to the top three. Another big theme was Pumas Crafted for Culture Kids and number three is then the Marseille away. Crafted for Culture works well for Italy. All these are beautiful. For most club jerseys, I have to, have to say it does not work at all for me. Uh, I think Rennes is a notable exception. Marseille here is a notable exception. Clearly helped that Marseille has one of the nicest color schemes that you have white and light blue and then you can always put a navy jersey out there. But what I love is the attention to the detail put on the all, all over print here. The houses where some are lit and then you see the um, uh, little uh, Madonna statues in there also in golden which is a re re reference to the uh, Notre Dame du Gard which is kind of towering or the church towering over Marseille. Uh, it's gorgeous. It really is. I mean, there's so much attention to, to detail there. Uh, it, it's not, uh, I mean, yes, it, it does repeat, but it really looks like we're looking at the city at night. The city that kind of never is a bustling city at night. I absolutely love this one. And, uh, you know, the color scheme always will get me. This is definitely one of the nicest, nicest jerseys out there. And I was about to give it 10. Um, Maybe the dark blue is a little bit too light, <laughs> but then uh, other than that, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous and really, really nice to look at. Now, at number two, it's a jersey that I already have. It's the Köln, yes, they have the Köln Carnival jersey. Another one, I saw this posted. I look at it, that looks crazy. I look at it again, I need to have this. Again, attention to detail is what makes this for me special. I ordered it within 24 hours of seeing it, despite the steep price, but then I said I'm, I go all out. Um, the carnival jerseys as of late for Köln were not that great. I mean, they had some nice references in there, but this one to me is probably the best special jerseys of the German Bundesliga ever. And what I love is, A, the design is this, um, they call it Lappenclown, basically it's a clown costume made from little squares that are sewn together. Look at the, you can actually see there the seams printed. Then always a little bit, um, you know, it's not one line, it goes a little bit diagonal. So it doesn't give off the Croatia look, it gives all, all a little diagonal look. But then in addition, you have not only the nice cologne code, the code of arms, you also have little symbols that 
are representative of Cologne in there. You have the cathedral, you have the goat, which it goes to after the Cologne, you have the um, cap that is worn at the carnival, you have the Colonial's Tower, you have the stadium, of course, then there is a drum, this is carnival, this is a, the tear is a reference to the coat of arms, the crown as well. I mean, there are so many little details in there. And then it goes also as leaf curves. You have the crown from the coat of arms, you have the cathedral and you have the cap. It is absolutely gorgeous and well executed. It's so go gorgeous that I actually, this is still with the tags because I want to keep it in the best condition that I can. Um, and I have to say it caught me off guard, but then the, the back is uh, with a uh, yellow number, I actually think this adds to it. And the best thing is that they had matching socks. Even the goalkeeper kit in blue and yellow has the same design, looks awesome. And also how you incorporate the sponsor. Yes, I'm not happy that there's such a big uh, thing here, but you sew it on and you give it a drop shadow. Uh, so much attention to this, this is so well done. I was considering this for number one. But ultimately I said, nah, number two is good enough. It's a beautiful, beautiful jersey. At number one, I wanted to go for a little bit more classic looking jersey and drum roll please, number one is the current France home kit. Maybe you might be a little bit de 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 disappointed here, but let me explain. To me, this jersey combines everything from innate Frenchness due to the thin hoops to, to combining all the great French jerseys into one. We have in here the 1984 jersey, we have the red bar and we have some lighter uh, uh, stripes here, which also goes for the 94 jersey. The bars are now in the lighter blue that we used to see with Adidas. The dark blue, of course, is now a reference to the current World Cup winning jersey. So we have all these jerseys going in there and also the previous Nike jerseys that uh, received rave reviews, not necessarily from, from me, but this overall, this kind of uh, thin striped look that goes in there as an overall concept I absolutely love this one. It is French, it is stylish, and most importantly, Nike finally, Nike finally, Nike, Nike finally put red on their France home jersey. This alone is for me cause to celebration. Then you have the nice uh, cockerel crest, which I absolutely adore. You have a very stylish collar. Also, I think here a floppy, a floppy collar would not have, have done. You needed to put this one here uh, to give it kind of this, um, yeah, the French look in, 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 in a way. Casual, but classy, yeah. So everything here fits. It is a beautifully crafted jersey beautifully crafted. Again, attention to detail, taking in historical references, uh, but combining into a unique jer jersey. This is almost the culmination of everything French, uh, every, every, everything France has ever worn that was of success. And it's not overdone, it's very much restrained. This is so popular that I've seen two teams, namely Granada, not to great, great effect, and Austria to much bigger effect, uh, taking this look and making it their own as well um, in a similar style, not with the red sticking out. This jersey, I know it might be a downer for some, for me this is the classiest shirt out there and is on the very top of my wish list to have uh, for the upcoming Euros. Uh, let's see if I will ever get there. So yeah, that rounds out my top 10. I would like to hear your top 10. Drop a line below. Also, let me know which jerseys in here would you have ranked differently. As I said, this is not that one is so much better than 10. I was ag agonizing over, uh, over full 24 hours. What's the ranking? But in the end, this is what came out. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.